Alrighty, so how's it going today? So it's uh, another sunny day out. That's why I actually got the glasses on for once because that's just how damn bright it is out. And yes, I am sitting in the tractor. Well, that's because free heat. I shut the door though because the wind's really cold, so let's not shut all the way. It's just enough so the it's not coming in heck of a lot, but so. Stupid tarp. Anyways, um, this is just going to be a little bit of a small ranting video. Um, because um, last night I had gotten a threatening email. Well, not super threatening, but it's threatening enough. Um, on my player stealer video, where I talk shit about my player stealer, the one that I used to go to, um, a local person that actually lives really close to our place. He lives on the North Dakota side, but we know where he lives. So, but he was sitting there talking crap, and, you know, of course he was explaining some stuff too, which is fine. But he was sitting there saying that, that the player's dealer um, will sue me for uploading a video of me talking crap about him. Okay, well, first of all, when I was talking crap about the player stealer, it's not illegal to do that. It's perfectly legal. It's perfectly legal to do such a thing. As long as you're not threatening the person, you're not saying, oh, I'm going to kill you. You know, I never threatened him. I didn't threaten anyone. So I just simply called him a name. You know, I don't, I don't remember what I called him. I probably called him an idiot or something like that, but that's not threatening. So... And I wasn't really, well, I was going more going after the company, really, because the dealer is stupid. Um, the guy was, the guy, he, I mean, the, the comment that this guy left was probably about 10 miles long. It literally took me half an hour to read it, you know. And he's sitting there saying that, that oh, well, the owner, you know, blah, 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 he, I, I, I broke a belt on my, my snowcat in the middle of a, in the middle of a field and it was like minus... 30 something out and I called them and I asked them if he would send me a belt and he came right out and he gave me a belt and he even waited for me to change it out he was right there okay well that's good and all I'm glad that you know he was willing to actually even stay there with you and help you change the belt you know that's actually kind of a good thing the reason why I got pissed off was because when I called my dealer, I called my dealer multiple times. The first times when I called, I had called about the issue that I was having where I wouldn't start. At the time, I did not know what the problem was. I thought it was that damn wire again because that's what happened the last time. That wire fried itself. So I figured, well, if that's the problem again, that's now something I want to play with. Because I don't know where that wire is going. You know, and it's minus 30 out, you know. I'd rather have the dealer do it because, for one, they have a heated shop to do it in. You know, I don't. None of my buildings are heatable. Well, the garage would be more heatable, but it still needs a lot of work to be heated. It's, it would, you'd have better luck heating my garage than you would my shop. And now you really could heat it because I got a new door put on. So, but <clears throat> I cannot work on my machines especially if it's going to take me days when it's cold out and when it's when it's blowing you know <clears throat> you know i called him to come and get my machine and the lady that worked there she said that she would tell him tell him to come and, and to pick it up and he never showed up how long has it how long was it since i put since big red broke down it's been months. And it's funny how now you're all of a sudden saying something when my video's been up for months. Like, why didn't you say something right then and there? I find it, uh... I find it, you know, funny. Because my video's been up for months and months, and now you decide to make a YouTube channel using your real name. Which, you know, I mean, again, that's your right to use a real name, you know, if you want to. I didn't, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. In a way, I don't think you should because there are a lot of fucked up people on YouTube and they will take advantage of that kind of stuff. I hate when people 
use their real, you know, I understand you have the right to do that, but I, to me, I think that's taking a risk, you know, so that's why I try to keep some of my information private, because you, it's the way people are nowadays, you know, you can't trust anyone, so, you know, that's why I limit my information, so, but <clears throat> I had called the player stealer multiple times to come and get it. And they refused. They never called me back. No one ever fucking showed up. So, yeah, I called them out like the little bitch that he is. Well, you know what? Then maybe if you would act more professional and, you know, show up when someone's calling for help. At the time, like I said, I didn't know it was the fucking battery. Okay? I thought it was that fucking wire again. Well, I'm not going to play with the wire. So... I tinkered around with it a little bit more. I got my uncle involved. I told him to bring the, the multimeter thing over. I said, let's check that damn battery. And plus there's other YouTubers that were saying, oh, it's got to be the battery. So I said, okay, I'm going to check that fucking battery. And sure enough, it was the damn battery. Okay. Well, what did I do? I called that player stealer, my old player stealer, and, you know, and I, and I called them, and no one would pick up. And then the guy leaves in, he leaves in, 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 his, in his comments saying, well, you should have called me. I work for him, or I work part-time with him, or whatever. Okay, well, first of all, I didn't know, okay? And I shouldn't have to call a sideline number. You know, that's what I call it, a sideline number, to order a part, or to see if there's a part in stock. I should be able to call the dealer straight up. And confirm that he's got either that that part in stock or he has to order it. That's why you call a dealer to confirm that they have the part there or if they need to order it. Because, you know, sometimes players, dealers just won't have crap in stock because they either run out, you know, or they're selling just, they're selling so fast that, you know, they don't keep enough in stock, you know. So they basically, yeah, they run out, you know. No one would call me back. They have my fucking phone number. I know they do. They just don't want to call me back. So, that's why, you know, I had called them out. You know, I'm not going to put up with, with poor business. That's poor business. That's that's what that is. You know, if he would have would have called me, or called me back when I had called all those times, you know, and had came and gotten the machine, you know, then I did. I never would have made that video. But, you know, if he's not going to answer his fucking phone, he's got a cell phone too. Never answers his fucking cell phone. He's got an email address, but I doubt he ever checks that. So, technically, all that crap's useless. So, but the only reason why your butt hurt is because I called out your best friend or your friend or whoever, whoever the hell he is to you. You know, you're just mad because I called him out. And, and you're mad because I put down a business. Well, there's been lots of people around here that, that have been complaining. I'm not the only one that's been complaining about that he's a hard man to get a hold of. You know, and then and you in your wrote in your comments saying that he works other jobs besides running his player stealer. Okay, well, really, if you're running a... If you thought about what you're going to do for the rest of your life, and of course he decided to open a player stealer... You pretty much will have to stick to that. You cannot have multiple jobs. Because then you're not going to be there. Especially with a Polaris dealer that, you know, is a, even around here, it's a major dealer because, you know, people around her own nothing but Polaris crap and they need parts. So, you know, you can't be working other side jobs to keep you busy, you know, or... I mean, he, I don't think he's married. As far as I know, he's not married. So he doesn't have any kids. As far as I know, he don't have any kids. You know, all he's got is a house and vehicles and then that 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 dealer. And I know that he's making plenty of money off just, just that dealer alone. So why he needs, a, you know, a second job or whatever, you know. You know, it's, it's like you don't need that if... Because if, I know he's making plenty of money on that dealer. I know that there's got to be at least, you know, quite a few people that come to him every year wanting a new machine because there's just some people out there 
that will trade in their machines every year, you know, because they want something new and they want to be the ones that can, you know, talk shit, you know, and be like, oh, I got the better, I got a better machine than you, you know. It's just bragging rights, pretty much, you know. So, that's what that is. You know, I mean, yeah, back in 2009, I had bragging rights because I had the biggest, baddest machine out there. That's what came out um, in 010. I bought it in 09, but it's an 010 model, so... Yeah, at the time, I, I, had, I had bragging rights, because I at the time, I was the only person around here that owned that machine. But then shortly after, people saw it, and they're like, ooh, I want one now. So then other people started buying them. So, you know, it's just it's, it's just the way it goes. You buy new machinery, and you have bragging rights for a while. So, but, you know, whatever. So, but, yeah. You know, the thing is, is that you cannot, you know threaten someone that you're going to hire a lawyer to, you know, or sue because of my video. Well, here's the thing. There are millions of people in this world that are not even on YouTube that do bitch. They bitch at other family members. They call up their, you know, their dealer or their company, whatever. They bitch about them. They bitch to them about them. Like, well, I'm not happy. Well, how come you didn't bitch at me when I bitched at, about DirecTV? I know you probably have DirecTV. Well, I made a video, I made a video about talking shit about them, how I thought they were poor business, you know, and no one ever talked shit about, on, on, talk, shit, shit, talk, you know, didn't talk shit about that, you know, so, so what's the big deal, you know, it's just something that you have the right to do, you have the right to freaking bitch, moan, and complain about stuff if you don't think it's fair. I'm not the only motherfucker. If if everyone was suing everyone in the world, you know, because of what they've said, there would be no companies even at all, or any dealers in this world, because everyone would be suing everyone, you know, and they're not. People are not suing other people over a fucking video, you know. Get over it. So, and I like how... Um, if I can remember, I think a while ago I heard that the guy that left the comment, he was busy. He was busy with his kids, you know, uh, sending them to basketball or whatever, teaching them how to do that. And then he was working. And then there was a few other things he was doing on the side as well. I guess, you know, working at the player stealer as well. Well, how do you have time to sit there on YouTube and make a freaking, you know, 10 page long comment, you know, talking shit, you know? You know, it's just stupid. If, if you don't have any time at all, then how do you find time to do that? You know, you always you always sit there and you talk about how you're so goddamn busy all the time with family and work. If you didn't have time, you know, then you wouldn't have time to be making a 10-page freaking comment talking shit, you know. So, and then he, uh, I ripped into, into him a little bit too and... Because I know who the guy is, and we all know that he's a troublemaker, and he is the one, plus his kids, plus probably everyone else in town, that do go, go across my fields. You know, it's trespassing. And then he sits there on his fucking, uh, well, he sits there in the comment thing, and then he says, oh, I don't own snow cats, I don't own four of this, this blah, blah, blah bullshit. The hell you don't. I know where you live. I drive past your house all the freaking time going to the grocery store. I see machines sitting in your driveway. So, yeah. Don't talk shit, bud. Because you do own machinery. And you do go you do go across our fucking fields. Because you're the only one that lives the closest to us. And then, besides the people that live way in the back there in the freaking woods. Well, they, they probably trespass too. Because everyone does. Because no one gives a shit. About anyone else. All they care about is trespassing. And doing illegal shit. And you know. And, and getting away with it. So. Get over it. You're just mad. Because I'm probably the very first guy. In this whole entire freaking county. To say something negative. About someone. About uh, you know. Even a dealer. Well if the fucking dealer would actually, you know, maybe do their fucking job. 
you know, then I wouldn't be sitting there talking shit about him. You know, I'd probably, be, I should actually be, you know, I mean, if he was such a great player stealer, he was always there, you know, when I needed him, I would actually probably be promoting him, you know, giving him a good word, saying, oh, if you come here to snowcat or ride trails, if there's any trails even around here, I don't know. I think there's some over there, but, you know, I should be that, I sh should be that kind of person that says, oh, well, if you come here to go riding, make sure you go to this guy if you, if you need a part. I can't do that because he's not reliable to me. That's why I had to go to the cities to get my fucking part. And then you, and then you said, oh, well, if you don't know how to change a battery, then you probably shouldn't be, be riding your machine or whatever the hell it is. No. At the time, I didn't know what the fucking problem was. You know? I thought it was that fucking wire again, so that's why I had called the dealer to see if they would just come and get it. So I didn't have to fucking spend hours and hours and hours trying to figure it out, because the players' dealers always have the right tools to do the damn job. I don't have all these big fancy tools to be checking wiring and, and you know, checking out of crap. That costs money. When the players' dealer already has it. So... Yeah, it cost me money because they have to come. They probably charge me for coming and getting it. That I don't know. That's something else he got pissed off about too, which I don't understand why. All I fucking says is I don't know if he charges, you know, for coming to get it and the, the, you know, and then to bring it back. I know that he charges, you know, to fix the damn thing, but I don't know what he charges for coming and getting it. I figured he probably just didn't charge anything because you know we we're so close to him that. I just figured he didn't charge anything. I don't know. I don't check the fucking bill. Because I don't care. I just check the price to see what I what I owe the man. And then I pay him. As long as he fixed what needs to be fixed, that's all I care about. You know. I don't care if it, you know, if, if he charges for coming and getting it and dropping it off. So, and you know what? If he doesn't charge anything for doing it well you know what that's good that's good business that, that that's actually a good thing but when you're not there to answer your phone you know or to come and get my to come get a freaking piece of machinery you know that's just poor business he never called me back he's got my phone number and if you don't maybe you gotta write it down and save it that's something else too is that he is not in the 21st century, he's still stuck in the freaking past. He doesn't even, as far as I know, he doesn't even have his own website. You know, he doesn't have any other kind of social, you know, media out there. He doesn't have an Instagram. He doesn't have, you know, don't get an Instagram. Don't do that. Instagram's just stupid. But he could at least have a Facebook page of his company. I'm not saying of his, you know, of himself. I'm saying of his company. And have, at least have yourself a fucking Facebook page, you know. But he don't. He don't have that. And he doesn't even have a website. That's every freaking dealer should have a website at least. I don't. I, cause I. Cause I. I googled them. I googled that player stealer, and nothing. There, all it showed was his address, the name of the company, and the phone number. And when I went and googled the other player stealer that was up in the cities. It had a whole big list of everything that they have. They had Instagram. Um, I think they even had YouTube, but I'm not 100% sure. And they had Facebook, uh, their own websites. You know. See, they're they're a major dealer, so they kind of have to have that. You know. But if he wanted to become a big-time dealer, then maybe he had to get himself out there a little bit more than, you know. Get him... Now, at least get yourself a damn website and, and maybe list the machines that you have for sale and some parts. You know. So I didn't I, I don't have time for a guy that wants to play games and not be there when I need him. So I'm just gonna move on to a different dealer. You know. When I went and called the dealer up in the cities, I don't even think the phone even rang two times. And they were already picking it up. And I think they said their name and then the company name and then you spoke after them. So, and I, 
they didn't even ask for the fucking part number for the battery. I just said, oh, I need I needed a battery for a 2010 Sportsman. They're like, okay, we'll order it. I was like, well, wait a minute, don't you want my damn part number? And they're like, ah, we don't really need it, but you can give it to us anyway. So I gave it to them. Holy fuck, that scared the shit right out of me. Why are you on top of my fucking house? One day there will be a big old fucking dent in the hood because of him. Yeah, you're a 10-pound cat landing on a piece of sheet metal. That's going to go real well. Now you got the hood dirty. Oh well, I'm probably gonna wash it come spring anyway. So, but yeah, you know, they were right there when I called. And he said, oh, "Okay, well, it'll, it'll probably take a few days, and you know, whatever." I said, "Okay, that's fine. I I know I know the stuff's gonna take a while to get here because if they don't have it in stock, they got to order it. You know, and that's understandable. I'm not." You know, because the guy said it would only take about a week. So, then I think I called on a Monday or something like that. And he said, well, you could be here by Friday. Or did I call? I don't even know when the fuck I called. It was either Monday or I called a week late that week. But no matter what, he said it would be there by by Friday of one of the weeks. And it showed up. But the only reason why they didn't call me back, because they said that they were, they were, they were going to call me when the part came in. Well, the guy said that the reason why they didn't call was because the part came in too late. Holy shit, what is that? Yeah, grind the piss out of that road. Ooh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. Grind it. God, I think I could... Don't hit the mailbox. Please don't hit the mailbox. Um, I thought that road was off limits to trucks. What the hell's that doing, man? He just knocked over like, I don't know, a good 10 feet of fucking snow. Whatever. So, you know, it's just so, you know, another freaking vehicle. Yeah, look at, look at look what your guy did. Look at what he did. Signs are useless. They, they can't even see them anyway, because for one, they're so damn low to the ground, and two, the big pile of fucking snow in front of it. So, yeah, that's going to work out real well. But whatever. I don't give a shit. So, oh my god, there's another truck. Ooh. He's got a beard. Huh. What kind of car is that? It's like an old car. Not, that's not a Camaro, is it? No, it's too old. I don't know what kind of car that was, but it's kind of cool. So, I mean, yeah, you know, it's just, you know, they're there. You know, and, and you know, what's funny, too, is that I can go on their website, on the new player's dealer, and you can actually order parts online. And I don't know if they would ship it to your house or if they would ship it you know, to their place or whatever. I don't know. But apparently you can buy parts from them too. Or order parts online or whatever the hell it is on, on their website. Can't do that with the other players dealer. You know. Because it's more, it's actually just more convenient, you know, for me to go online and order a part, you know, and then either have it shipped to my house I'd rather have it shipped to my house because it saves the bullshit of me having to drive 30 minutes away to go get a part, you know. So, but some parts you just kind of have to go to a dealer, you know. Especially if the machine has to be taken in for some kind of a, some kind of a major repair. But, but you know, what what, what are you gonna do? So, but whatever. So, but you know. The bottom line is that, you know, you can, you know, you can threaten me all you want, man, you know. I understand, I mean, everyone has the opinion to speak their mind, and I understand that he said that, you know, he's, you know, that he's had no problems with him. He even sat there and helped him fix the part, whatever, when it was minus 30 out, whatever. 
Okay, well, that's fine. But that's because you two are... Oh, that's so loud. That's because you two are, are our best friends. You know? I'm not friends with him. And I probably never will be. Because I didn't, I'm not going to my player's dealer to make friends. I'm going to my player's dealer for fucking parts. Now, if he wants to be nice to me, which is, you know, what you should be doing. If he wants to be nice to me and, and chat it up and, let, you know, talk, shoot some shit, you know, and talk, that's fine. You know, but, you know, I can't order parts from a, from a person that's never there. No one ever picks up the bloody phone. I've called there multiple fucking times. And no one picks up. So, you know, I'm sorry that that you're all butthurt because of, you know, I put your friend down. Well, tell your friend to maybe be a better player stealer then. And, and maybe I'd give him another chance, you know. But as far as I can tell, I'm pretty much well just done with him. You know, because, you know, he's, he's, he's just never there. If he was there all the time, or someone was there all the time, you know, ordering parts and answering the phones, you know, then I probably wouldn't even be talking shit about them. I'd probably be putting in a good word and be like, oh, yeah, this guy's fucking great. You know, let's go go to him. If you ever, if you ever come this far up here to go snowcatting or whatever, if you need, you need a part, go to him. I can't do that because he's not a reliable company. He's poor. He's a poor business owner. You know, so, but you're just, like I said, you're, you're just mad because I put, you know, your friend down, you know, well, so be it, you know, and then he brought my grandma into the subject and saying that my grandma would be disappointed in how I was acting on, in the video. No, actually my grandma agreed with me. I told my grandma all the problems I was having with this fucking guy. And my grandma was like, oh, well, then maybe you should just go somewhere else. Go find a different player's dealer then. Or see if you can order the shit online. Then. You know. So. You know, it's just poor business. And, I, and I'm just going to keep saying that. It's poor business, poor management, whatever you want to call it. You know. If he would have came, you know, say within a few days or something, you know, and picked up my machine or tested my machine to figure out what the hell's wrong with it, then I wouldn't be sitting here talking shit about him because he's a, he'd be considered a good, reliable business, or, you know, a dealer, but he's not. He's never there. There's no one ever there. That's what you don't understand. No one's ever there. You cannot have multiple fucking jobs and then own a player's dealer at the same time. If you own a business, you have to be there. Or you have to hire people to take your spot. I swear, the last time I was in there, there was only like two people there. One, one was a girl and one was a guy. Well, when I had ordered the that little fucking piece for the shifter, um, it was just her and him. I didn't see the other. I didn't see anyone else there. Well, they both had their hands greasy, you know, and they were obviously fixing shit, well, you should maybe have someone on the side, you know, to answer your phone, you know, because I, you know, because if, if they're busy switching, you know, or fixing crap, you know, they shouldn't really have to get interrupted by a phone call, so that's why you kind of need someone else to just do that job, so basically what you would have is a phone operator pretty much you know that would answer the phones and order parts that's all you need and then you need a couple of freaking mechanics so you know that's all you need and then the uh when i was there i went and got that little part the guy that was there that um i don't know who he was but he, he was a, obviously a mechanic or something and he asked if i if if he wanted if I wanted him to swap the part out because the you know the part that was broken, well, it was broken. He wanted to know if if I wanted him to swap it around and put the new one on. I said sure, and he did it. 
It only took him about a minute. So, again, right there, that's good business. When some, when a guy is willing to do something for you, you know, that's good business. But the problem I'm having with this with this dealer anyway is that no one's there. No one's ever there to answer the fucking phone. I can never call to get parts. I can never call to get my machine, you know, taken in. You know. It's just stupid. I'm done. I'm going to move on to, to a better player's dealer. Yes, they're further away. Whatever. You know. But for sitting there saying that, that you're going to sue me because of my video, well, you can't because it's my opinion and opinions are legal. It's, it's not against the law to talk shit about other companies. If, if everyone talks shit about everyone, which they do, and if lawsuits broke out, there'd be mil there'd be gazillions of lawsuits going out there, and there wouldn't be any damn businesses businesses around here, anywhere in the goddamn United States. So, whatever. I'm sorry your butt hurt. I'm sorry that I broke your heart, and you know, and you're all butt hurt because I put your friend down. Well, tell your friend to maybe be a better player stealer, you know, and to be there. Because I can never get a hold of the motherfucker. And I shouldn't have to call a sideline number to order a part. And plus, I don't have your phone number. No one told me that I had to call you. Call you? I should be calling my dealer. I don't care if you do work for the fucking player's dealer. It's the point that you're not there all the fucking time. So, I should, I should just be able to call my player's dealer. I should not have to call a random guy's number to order a part and then he and then he sits there and he says um, that this players dealer that I used to go to they sell more parts than the part than than the players dealer in the city wrong very wrong a players dealer in the city sells way more fucking parts and machinery than this guy will ever sell because it's a big time players dealer up in the cities and more people go to them you know so, and if you would have maybe read the fucking comments in the video too, there's another guy that was saying that he's been noticing that a lot of companies have been acting like that. That they're never there. Well, you know, get over it. You know, fucking be there for people, you know. I'm not a full-time, I'm not a, you know, a fucking mechanic that can fix every goddamn square inch of piece of machinery or something, you know. It's... For one, it would take me years to get that kind of knowledge to know that kind of shit. Like, it's going to take me years to figure out this fucking thing. Yeah, I can change oils and swap batteries, but I'm not going to be able to change a fucking piston. Because that'd be a nightmare. You know. The only way you're ever going to learn fucking shit is just to, you know, is to dig right on in. But I really shouldn't have to. You know, I should be able to call my dealer. And either they can walk me through it or... They can come down. I, there's been um, even John Deere. John Deere has trucks, service trucks that come out. And if you have a problem and you can't do it yourself, you call up John Deere and they'll send the service truck out. So, yeah. Maybe that's what this player's dealer ought to fucking do. You know? They, but, they, but, but again, they don't answer the phones and they don't show up. You know? Show up then. Help a, help a man out. If you want more customers and you want to make more money, you need to be there for your customers. You need to be there for your customers. He ain't never there for me. So maybe he's there for you. Well, that's because you're, you're his friend. You guys are friends. He's not my friend. I barely know the fucking guy. You know? Yeah, I went to his, to his dealer back in 09. To get my four-wheeler. Well, I'll, you know what? I haven't been to that player's dealer. Well, I've never been there. I might have... Well, maybe I've been there once. When I was a real kid. But... I didn't talk to the guy. You know? I didn't even know the fucking guy. I was a kid. And... I never went to him. Until 2009. And I went and got, went and got Big Red. You know? Everyone... 
everyone was saying to get a get a players. Well, in order to get a players, you need a good players dealer, and I don't have that around here, so it's just it's just not not an option. So, and he was saying that it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to start a business. Yeah, I said that in the fucking video. If you would maybe not be drunk for once and actually watch the video all the way through, you would hear the part where I said, yeah, it would take money to fucking do it, but at least I could, you know, it's doable. You could fucking do it, you know? So, and if you would actually watch the fucking video, I said in the video that I, I would actually be there for my customers. You know? Now, that means if I was to... You know, start a player stealer. That means I would either have to hire more people because you know what if I'm farming too, right? So now for our farmland isn't that big, so technically you can mow hay within half a day on a, even just our property. You could do it within half a day, you know. But still, it's still half a day where you know if someone tries to call and they can't get a hold of you, well, you have to have another. You got to have another person working at your player stealer. So. You'd have two choices there. You would either have to hire another person to take your spot while you're out farming. Or you, do, you just don't get into the player's dealer business. Or you don't start farming then. You sell out your farm and, and you're done then. You have to do what you want to do with your life. With this guy, he wanted to run a player's dealer. And that's what he likes to do. He likes to run a player's dealer. He likes to sell machinery, you know, four-wheelers. Whereas me, I like to farm. I like to run big heavy equipment and turn dirt and watch hay get bailed. You know, that's my thing. And with this guy, uh, whatever he does, I know he likes to, you know, you know, run around on the snow cats. Well, okay, well, that's your thing. You like to go run around with your snow cats. So, but, you know, just stay, just stay the hell off my fields, you know. Because it's, it's you and, and everyone else in that fucking town that, that's been doing it. So. But what, what are you going to do? And and to my regular subscribers. Um, I think, I, I can't remember, I think someone said that. That there's probably a good chance that no one around here is watching my videos. Well, that's false. I know i got people around here watching my videos. And that's fine. I'm not going to tell them not to do it. It's just that, you know, don't do it. If you don't like what I got to say, then don't watch my videos because I'm going to bring neg negativity to to my channel. Because it's my right to speak how I want. If, if I don't like something, I have the right to say that. And you can't sue me just because I said it. But whatever. He's, uh, you know... He's just trying to scare me and all that bullshit, so... Whatever. I mean, I've dealt with idiots like that in the past. I mean... Actually, the... the, the, the he, this guy was nothing compared to what I've, what I've seen in the past. He's not... This guy that was leaving a comment was not even a troll. You know? What he was doing was he was just leaving his opinion, pretty much. But, you know... He... What pissed me off is that he was going to sue me. Well... You can't sue me. So, because I ain't done nothing. It's not against the law to talk negative about a business just because you don't like it. You know? Oh, well. If he doesn't want to be, you know, have a negative reputation, then maybe he ought to correct that problem then and be there. But then again, it's probably not going to matter to me because I got a different player stealer now. Now, I asked if I have to take my four-wheeler to the cities to, you know, have something major repaired. I'm going to have to rent out a U-Haul trailer and a pickup and haul it down there. Okay. Well, whatever. You know, so a man's got to do what a man's got to do to keep his machinery running. Especially if it's out of his fucking control, you know. Get out of here, you tarp. You're blocking the sun. Damn tarp is coming down more and more every fucking day. I used to have a piece of string that went across the window. It got tied to the... Yeah, it's right there. It got tied to the antenna. The antenna's broken anyway, so I don't give a shit about it. 
And it used to go down, but it's going up. So my tarp is going all over the fucking place. I should just take the bitch off. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Whatever. So. But yeah, so. I mean, yes, the guy does have his, you know, he has the right to his own opinion. But, you know. You kind of have to understand that, yeah, maybe he's working for you, but he ain't working for me. You know. You just you just have to get over it. Move on with your life. You know. And if and if you're going to sit there and harass me on YouTube or or Facebook or you know or whatever, whatever you think you got to do, that shows right there that you don't have a life and that you're not busy. Like you claim that you are. You claim that you're busy all the time with kids and basketball or whatever the hell it is and then you got work and then you got playtime you know yeah you're real busy if you're freaking coming on on social media websites and harassing someone just because of a stupid video you know and there was another guy that had left a comment just uh, uh before this guy did there was another one that left a short comment and then about five minutes later, then this guy came on and left a 10-page long comment. So, kind of shows that them two are kind of together, which, you know, whatever. You know, but I'm not going to stop making these kind of videos because, just because it breaks your heart and, and, and you're pissed off. I don't have to stop. It's my right to continue to make these kind of videos, and I can do so. It's my right. You know, if if the player's dealer doesn't like it, then maybe he ought to, you know, talk to me then, man to man, and th let's discuss the fucking problems. And then if he starts to be a better player's dealer and he works it out and he's there for me all the fucking time, then maybe I'll take the video down and I'll upload another one saying what a great guy he is now. But I can guarantee that will never happen. Because he ain't gonna, he ain't not, he's just not that kind of guy. He don't give a shit. So... And whatever, you know. Just quit being butthurt over it. That's all I got to say. Just quit being butthurt, butthurt over it. Because I ain't the only one that's been that's been complaining too. No one else says. No one else doesn't say anything because they don't want to hurt his reputation. Well, I'm not afraid to. Because I'm done putting up with bullshit. So you 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 are you are either going. To be a good dealer and, and be there when I need you. Or I'm going to talk shit about you and I'm not going to go there again. And yes, I did talk a shit about DirecTV. No one said a damn thing about that. You know, DirecTV's never going to sue me because they don't give a shit. They don't. So, no one gives a fuck. You know? And after I, I had uploaded that video about the player stealer... Well, that was it. I moved on with my fucking life. I went to a bigger and better players dealer. And, you know, I don't even think about this guy anymore. Because he's just not, he's not worth my time. He's not worth me getting stressed over about thinking, oh shit, I want, is my four-wheeler going to get fixed before the next big snowstorm moves in? Now, he don't give a shit. He, he knows that, he knew at the time that my four-wheeler was dickered and he never showed up. He never knew that I had figured out what it was. He never cared. If he cared, he would have called. Or he would have shown up. Nobody showed up. Nobody called. And then he said, uh, if if I was to take this, like, if I was to take this tractor to KSIH and they did something wrong to it, would I talk shit about them too? Yeah, I would. Because you have to get that out there to, you know... To be known that this dealer is bullshit. Now, I ain't going to do that as of right now. Because I've never done business with a Case IH dealer. Not the, not the one over North Dakota. You know. And here's another thing too. Have you noticed that... Well, if you've been watching my videos long enough. Which one well, you don't really have to. If you've been watching my summer videos. You'll know that I got a John Deere X724, right? Okay. Well, you know what? I've needed a lot of shit for that John Deere. And John Deere was always there for me. You know? 
I called them. I told them what I wanted, and they're like, "Okay, we got it. Come, just come down when when you when you think you need it, and it'll it'll have your name on it." You know. And uh, a lot of times I didn't even need part numbers. I just had to tell them what I you know like what I wanted, and they knew. You know, and have you noticed that I've never talked shit about my John Deere dealer? Because there's nothing to there's nothing negative to say about them because they've always been there for me. They don't sit there and talk shit, you know. I've never had to call them to see if they'd come get my tractor, as of yet, you know. Because, well, it's a John Deere and you can't break a John Deere, so. But, again, I use my four a lot harder than I, than I do my John Deere, so technically the four going to have more problems than the, than the tractor, you know, than the mower, so. But, they're always still there. They always answer their phones. There's always... Somebody there. This player's dealer, there's never no one there. And if they are, well, they're they're they just they're they're dicks about it and don't want to answer the fucking phone. So, again, I'm sorry, if, you know, if I butt hurt your favorite company. Well, if you're having good luck with them, and they're treating you fair, then continue to go with them. Then I don't have a problem with you going to them but I ain't going back you know and even if he did talk it out man to man nothing would probably ever get solved about it and he would he'll just say okay well well you know we'll take care of it you know whatever and then when the time did, does come he'll just completely fucking ignore me you know that's what I feel like that's what will happen I will just get completely fucking ignored again and I'm back to square one again talk making another fucking negative video about someone so, but, sorry, I'm sorry, the video's going to, the video's staying up, and, and he told me to take the video down, well, I'm not going to, because you can't make me, because it's my right to do so, if you would look it up on YouTube, you will see tons of other people talking negative shit about other companies, and those companies don't go after them, I'll give you a quick little, um, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, One Lonely Farmer. If I don't know if you watch that guy's videos or not. I know I do. He was having problems with one of his dealers. Um, one of his New Holland dealers or whatever. And he made a video about it. And then his dealer came across that video. And they said, okay, well, what can we do to make it better for you? You know, that's a real dealer right there that's actually willing to work with you. If this guy would do it, well, then, you know, that that would be a good thing. But I know he's not going to. So, sometimes making a video on stuff can be a good thing, too. So, but, you know, whatever. If you're, you're going to be butt hurt over it, that's fine. You have the right to be butt hurt over it. So, you know, it's a free country and everyone has their own opinion. Well, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I'm going to do it. And I did. And the video's going to continue to stay up until something changes. Until either he decides to help me out and actually be a real fucking player stealer. You know, or or whatever. But for, for the time being, it's staying up. So, whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't. So... And yes, I would talk shit about other companies because I have the right to. I talk shit about DirecTV and no one said a goddamn thing about it. DirecTV never you know, never called and... Well, actually, they did call, but it wasn't because of the video. They called because they wanted me to come back because they wanted to sucker me and they were to ripping me off. And they sell me pieces of shit that never worked. So yeah, I'll know, and that's another thing too. I'll, know, I'll never go back to DirecTV and they will always get a negative reading from me. But you know what? I have not made a video on DirecTV in a long time. Because I got over it. I still got one more thing that I got to take care of. But when that time will come, I don't know. And it, yes, it does have to do with DirecTV. And that fucking dish that's on top of my house. It's still there. But I got a little idea what I'm going to do with that fucking dish. Because I don't want it on top of my damn roof. So. What are you going to do? So, but like I said, I'm sorry if you're, you know, if you're butt hurt and mad because I, 
I talk shit about your favorite dealer. Well, he's not my favorite dealer. He's he he's he's never there when I need him. If he was there when I needed him, then I wouldn't be talking shit about him. You know. So, but since he's never there for me, never wants to help me out, never wants to return my calls, no, he he doesn't want to show up. Screw it. So, and how come that I think I've already said this, but that, you know that video has been up for quite a long time, and and now will you say something? Why didn't you say something right then and there when the video was first uploaded? Hmm. No. I don't care. So, but yeah, that's just a little rant. Um, so, yeah, it's just a rant. Not much else I can say about it. It's just you know, it's it's hilarious what this guy's been saying. You know, I don't feel like I should have to call a, a sideline number to order parts. I should be able to call my local dealer, and either they come and get it or they order the part. And he failed to do any of that. He ordered me. He ordered one part, and that was that little that little shifter thing that I needed. And then he was being a dick about it and saying, "Oh well, you can go up to the cities um, if you want to get it quicker." You know, first of all, you don't exactly say that because then that's just going to drive your customer to the next dealer, and then they're just going to continue to go back to them. They ain't going to go back to you. So kind of right then and there, that kind of said, "Okay, well, this guy doesn't want my money." So, he doesn't want my money, and I guess I just, I don't need his business then. I'll just, I'll move on the, to another player's dealer, and that's the decision I made. And I'm going to continue to do that until this dealer decides to start having problems. But, they can't. Because they're in a city, and they have to have respect for people, you know, and they have to be there, because if they don't, then they're going to have a bad reputation. And apparently this guy doesn't give a shit. Because if he didn't if he didn't want a bad reputation, he would have came right away. I'm not saying that he would have came the same day, but it would have been maybe a couple of days from now. Or from then. You know, or he would have called me at least the same day, like, oh well, I'm not gonna be able to come and get it to a so and so date. Then I would have been fine with that, because at least I know that he's gonna come and get the son of a bitch and fix it. But as soon as he never called me, never showed up. I figured, well, he's, he wants nothing to do with me. Well, I want nothing to do with him then either. So. But whatever. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to probably take off. Because <sighs> I might go maybe scrape the driveway a little bit. It's looking a little bit sloppy. It's actually melting. We're talking nicer weather. So, that's probably why I'm even going to bother. I don't fucking know. Because shit, it's probably just going to freeze again anyway. But what are you going to do? So, oh yeah, another thing too is that he was saying that if they, if they have to sue, that they would have to take Big Red and the tractor, you know, to make up for their reputation or whatever the fuck it is, you know, for hurting their fucking feelings. Well, you can't, and you can't sue anyway because it's just an opinion that everyone has the right to. Like I said, you're just mad because I, I you know, I'm, I'm the very, probably the very first to say a negative thing about someone. I have the right to. Just like you have the right to your own opinion, and and you left it, and you said that you had, you've had no problems with the guy. Okay, that's good for you, man. But I'm having a hell of a time. So, and that's poor business, and I don't accept. I don't like that. I need someone that's going to be there. I'm not saying that they have to be there 24 seven. They should be there within an hour. And what? owner comes in at 10 o'clock in the morning shouldn't he be there at like 7 or 8 when the doors actually open he comes in later than that you shouldn't be doing that you're an owner of a, of a company you should be you should, you should actually be the very first one in the fucking door it shouldn't be your employees but I mean you know it's his business he can run it his way well that's not professional it should be the, the boss or the owner Walking in the door first, unlocking the doors, you know, turning on the lights, getting the heater or the air conditioner going, you know, whatever, laying out tools, getting the coffee going, get the, you know, get the donuts going, whatever the hell it is, you know. That's a professional business. 
so but whatever you can you can continue to be butt hurt if you wish to you know help yourself I ain't gonna worry about it thanks for threatening me by the way that's awesome you know so yeah all right guys I'm taking off so I guess uh have a good day and stuff and stuff so yeah thanks for watching guys take her easy